thought what was most important was to just get started. Yeah. Didn't want was analysis paralysis where you're thinking too much about it, you know, and I'm trying to get everything perfect. But as I'm going, I'm adding more and more things that I need. One Life, One You podcast, Nick Sherman. I am here with Antoine of Modern Sapien, the YouTube That's channel. Right. That's right. Modern if, you have, if, if you're watching and you have trouble finding it, it's the big muscle guy flexing. That's, <laughs> <laughs> That's his icon, just so you know. I'm not big yet, man. Man. <laughs> Four pounds on me. It depends on who you're comparing yourself to, really. <laughs> so, um, introduce yourself. Tell them what you're doing. Oh, wow. Well, okay, so uh, my name's Antoine, and I have a YouTube channel called Modern Sapien. And uh, basically, it's a nutrition and fitness channel. You're snarling in the background. That's my crazy dog. <laughs> but uh, it's a fitness channel to help you build a strong anesthetic body. So... As we're doing, uh, as far as credentials go, I'm a power lifter. I also do online coaching, so I know a little something. You know a little bit, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the main thing I wanted to ask is, why did you start the YouTube channel? Oh, dude, so that's something I've been wanting to do for a while. You know, it's one of those things where, like, I knew I had good information to give out. But it was more so just doubt, like, would anybody want to hear what I have to say? Who am I? You know, you almost have, um, they call it imposter syndrome. Yeah. And uh, I said, you know what? Let me just do it. So yeah, I'm going to put a lot of time into it, put it out, and try to help some people. Yeah. So why now? Like, why? Like, cause you just put it up, like, what? Like a week or two ago, right? Yeah, man. <laughs> Dude, so, um. You know, I think it's just with uh, COVID and everything. Like, so I've had a lot more extra time than I've had in the past. A lot of people so, have. <laughs> yeah. I was going on. So uh, I did retire from my job back in December. So yeah. I started a commerce business. So that's going on. That's on autopilot. Okay. And when I'm going, you know, I, I needed more time to fill. So obviously I have my training, but you still want to be useful. Yeah. I need to do something around my passion, which is fitness. Of course. And a YouTube channel seemed like one of the better ways for me to do that. Yeah. So, um, how are you? How are you filming your videos? What are you using? This iPhone right now. There you, so. there you go. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, man. Like a good cameras. I mean, you'd be surprised how much you have to pay. So. My thought process on it is I'm going to get good at creating good content off of this. Focus on content first, and then later on I can grab some more gear. That's, so, that, iPod, I microphone coming uh, from Amazon. Yeah. And so we can see if we can get that quality looking a bit better. No, I know. I'm, I'm watching the videos, and I go... It looks good. Like, <laughs> like that's why I asked. I go... I, I, I just was wondering if... You were using a certain setup, if you had a certain camera, a certain mic. But I love the iPhone idea. I I go off my phone for almost everything. Dude, man, iPhone's amazing. Like, if you go into your settings, um, I don't know if this is true for all iPhones. I have the 11 Max, but I know from 8 upward, if you go to your camera settings, they have an option where you can film everything in 4K. Yeah. Yeah. Hit yeah. that. And, uh, and that day I did film and I had good sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I think the funny thing is, I think YouTube only lets you go out to 1080p. So, so the 4K is just like extra. It's like for you. Yeah. yeah. But it, yeah. everything looks good. Um, You have goals in mind with this channel? Yeah, dude. So, um... You know, I want to be able to reach the most amount of people possible. So right now, I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. So that's the that's the first milestone. We'll keep on building up from there. And I have some ideas of different type of videos I want to do. So the next one is, I'm thinking I'm going to go more so around 
the elements you need to be able to build a good physique and keep muscle while you're on the diet. So I'll see if I can get some kind of training footage. Yeah. Uh, come on, though. I'll walk you later. So uh, <laughs> next video. So I want to see if I can get some good um, training footage. Which okay. Is gonna be ed- right now I'm editing my own videos, which is probably obvious. <laughs> so uh, we'll see how this goes with the next video, if I'm able to get it in there and look good. Because, like, I need things trending Toward the better, yeah. so look a little better, a little better until I get it to where I need it to be. Are you? What are you using to edit? Uh, so right now I'm using um, iMovie, so I use that, and then there is another app called InShot. So I use both of those together. Some are better at different things. So like with InShot, it's easy to add like little banners, stickers, music. And then for the iMovie, that's where I do the deleting sections, stitching things together. Works okay. pretty good. I I use myself. Um, it's an app off the iPhone. It's called Kind Master. I'm gonna send. Yeah. I'm a, I'm gonna send it to you so you can check it out. I like it. It it's pretty simple because I tried a bunch of different apps and like, if it gets too confusing, I'm like, no, I gotta delete this. I gotta try something else. So this yeah. one's pretty simple. So yeah, I'll send it to you so you can try it out. Kind master, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, I'm gonna try that out on this next video. I'll be filming Tuesday, so see, see for me. How often are you planning on putting out videos? So at minimum one a week, but if I can pump out more, I will. So yeah, you know, but I don't want to do less than one a week. I think it's going to be important for me to be and so keep on pumping out content, and that's how I can really start getting that ball moving slowly subscriber at a time helping one person at a time and then hopefully we'll see that snowball at some point just slowly adding on they exactly. from everything i read with youtube they like the consistency exactly. of and you know a schedule putting it out around the same days stuff like that they kind of keep pushing you forward What's the biggest surprise so far in doing these videos? Oh, man. So, the biggest surprise for me is uh, that I have some subscribers. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've been up for about four, I guess four days. Four days ago, I went live, I think. And there's 27 subs right now, a lot of which I don't know. So, that that was surprising. Strangers. You know, you know whenever <laughs> watching yourself, as you probably know, is strange. And man. So, Oh, God, I, like, I'll watch it to make sure there's not too many mistakes in it. Come on. And then after that, I don't want to see it again. <laughs> <laughs> I, go, I go, that's probably the worst part about doing any of this is going back, having to edit and re-listen and re-watch yourself. It's exactly. the worst. <laughs> it's, it, it's rough. I mean, because then you critique everything. Like, oh, God, I'm not talking fast enough. Or, oh, God, did I stutter there? It was, it, it's, it's tough. Yeah, you catch yourself wow. in your own yeah. habits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you're you're filming, you're editing. Hmm. You're uploading yourself and you're trying to do at least once a week. Do you have a like a template of topics you want to go over? Uh so so right now it's rough. So right now I'm on a cut, so I'm trying to get down to about 10% body fat. So a lot of these early videos are going to be a lot of principles I'll be using to get down lower body fat percentage but keep as much muscle and strength as possible. So uh, we're going to tackle in more depth nutrition. Another video will be more so on the training. We'll do one on recovery, then exercise selection. And I'm thinking I'm going to do some videos on body so Depending on what each person's situation is, yeah. I'm going to try recommendations for how somebody who wants to do something similar can get to that goal. Okay, that's a solid four, five, six videos down the line. You like? <laughs> so we will see. So that that's the plan. So I'm sticking to it, man. Sticking to it. How are you promoting your videos? So right now, Instagram. And I'm promoting on Facebook. So, uh, you know, so Facebook's my name, Antoine D. Lindsay. And then Instagram, it's Tokyo Sippin'. 
But then I have another Instagram account, which is Just Fitness, and that one is the underscore modern sapien. So those three, I just, once I film a video, I do a screenshot of it, put it out there with the link, and uh, see who takes it. You should, uh, I want to get your editing down, because <laughs> start chopping clips and then putting the clips up. Oh, yes, that way people, yes, that's a great idea. Yeah. And Cause... I was looking in shot or on iVideo, but one of those is a trailer option. So, yeah, 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 that's a great. Yeah, so you have, say, a three, four, ten minute video. You can make that four, five, thirty second clips. Exactly. Simple. And it's and you already filmed it. It's already edited. You just got to chop it to fit it on Instagram, fit it on Facebook. Yeah. And I, yeah, watching today, I, you seem natural in front of the camera. Is it true? Dude, uh, <laughs> because I can go uh, stop and re-record. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I know that trick too. <laughs> it's funny because you know, talking, having a conversation like we are right now, it's a lot easier than when you're getting feedback from somebody. But when you're talking to a camera and you're, uh, you know, having a conversation with the invisible people <laughs> that you hope to be watching, it's it feels totally different. Yeah. Now, admittedly, it felt easier the last time I did that video, and pretty sure it'll get easier the more and more I do this. But right now, it's strange, man. Yeah, strange. It, it's because you're like you're basically like this, <laughs> yeah. and you're just like, and you're staring right at yourself. So you're just talking to yourself, and hoping it makes sense, and hoping you're not rambling, and yeah. Yeah, man. It's good. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking, and, uh, I think it'll be real good once I do some uh, training videos. Yeah. Now, I'm thinking on whether or not I want to talk, like, uh, whether it'll be a voiceover, my training sessions, or, or if I'll be talking through, through the sessions. So that'll probably depend on how clear the uh, audio comes through. Because inside gyms, I mean, it's a little tougher to do that without a high-grade camera. Unless I do some with my home gym set up. And which is okay. It got me through COVID. You sh you should try both. I would do um like a regular workout, do a voiceover over it, and and do a a workout with you stopping kind of in between, holding the camera up, saying, "Hey, I'm doing four sets of this at this weight because I'm trying to get here eventually for my working set and things like that." And just to see how it feels for you. Right, right. And I can check out both of them and then just uh, go with what I think will be the best content for people. Editing works wonders. <laughs> Dude, man. Editing is, I mean, not everything, but it's a big portion of this. Yeah. Crazy, man. Have you worked on, like, the inner workings of YouTube, like getting a YouTube cover for your videos and getting an intro and using the tags for the YouTube at the bottom and all that? So I have been using tags. I uh, still don't have an intro yet. So it's a, uh, I, I did it pretty smart. So, you know, I have the logo, the banner, the tags for the video, but not an intro yet. So that's something I'm going to be working on. Uh, like, I, I thought what was most important was to just get started. Yeah. Didn't want was analysis paralysis where you're thinking too much about it, you know, and I'm trying to get everything perfect. But as I'm going, I'm adding more and more things that I need, but that's definitely a part of like the, maybe not the final vision of my channel, but you know, once I get pretty good at this, I imagine all that. Yeah. Yeah. Just starting. That's the big yeah. thing. Yeah. Hey, just like, we, man, cause you think about it, people have fitness goals and the thing that will usually stop people is they're thinking too much about it. Like, I'm pretty sure you've had clients where, you know, you're teaching them, like, a pull-up, and they're, should I go slow or fast on the eccentric, the concentric? Like, dude, just do the pull-ups. We can worry about all the tightening up everything else later. Let's just get started, get moving. Yeah. You'll see some big... Yeah, my, my thing is always just get one. 
Like, get one, get ten, and then we can nerd out on everything later. But <laughs> do the do the initial part first. Yeah. Right. And that's the same thing with everything. Like, it's why I'm doing this. It's why you're doing the channel. It You just got to push. Exactly. And, and, and then you look up a year later, you're like, oh, man. Progress. Nice. Yeah. That's all it's about. Awesome. Um, I'm looking forward to more videos. Dude, let's definitely do it. I appreciate that feedback you gave me, so I can't wait to use it to help me with my own channel. Yeah. Maybe we'll do so you know, both of us are fit guys, man. And, and, man, and we, man, you're you're way stronger. Like you want to go out and do some cardio, man. <laughs> you're, and it's crazy. I feel like, with, like the fitness you have, like the uh, you know, stripping power. That's good for you know lifting heavy weights. But that's not everything. You know, you have endurance, conditioning, and that's a whole other world, man. So you know, they, you know, I actually <laughs> love the conditioning part of the fitness. Like, I don't know why, but the, the feeling of almost dying a little bit inside, <laughs> I love. <laughs> Bro, I hate cardio, man. I do it, but I do not like it. I do, uh, I go on walks, so I do 10,000 steps a day. When I'm on a cut, when I'm not on a cut, uh, it's however many steps I get walking my dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, I, I love going out sprints and burpees and doing box jumps and all that. Like, I'll do, I'll do that all day long. That's a lot more savage than what I'm doing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Uh, Nick, man, this was good, brother. Let's do this. Yes. I'm definitely going to be checking in. I'm definitely going to watch all the videos, send you whatever I can to help you out. I think it's really cool that you just want to spread more information and more actually good information. From the very first video, I'm like, all right, he's telling good information. He's, <laughs> You know, from the first one, it's just like, all right, there's no tricks, there's no gimmicks, you need to get your steps in, eat calories less, you know? I'm like, all right, we're here, we're good. It's not complicated. It's simple, but not easy. That's what I say. I go, it's it's simple, but it's work. Exactly. Yeah, it's true. Again, thanks for coming on. Modern Sapien. YouTube That's right, channel. Modern Sapien. Yes. Thanks, man. All right, Nick, I'll be talking to you, brother.